Hi loves, welcome back and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to be doing clean feet. So if you're an owner and you know, you don't wanna go to the groomer that often or your dog just needs a little trim or you're a new groomer, stay with me because I'm gonna show you how to do clean feet. Okay, so we're doing clean feet today and we're gonna shave from here down. I am using my Revora and I'm also using my 40 blade, but you can also use your 30 or 15 blade. No longer than that, do not use your 7 blade. I always like to start from the back and these two bones are where you're going to stop shaving. Do not shave more than that. Now you're going to scoop out in and out. Do not dig. Don't dig on your dog's skin because you can cut it. So just gently scoop in and out so to get rid of the hair. Okay, so now we're shaving the sides and you don't want to go above these two bones that uh, your dog has on the feet. So you're just going to go right there shave that part and then i'm going to shave the other side and i will stop right at the bone i don't want to go above those two round bones i'm going to show you in a minute how where they are and you're just basically creating a circle around your dog's feet see the bones are on the sides of the pads right there and there there you go you don't want to go above them just, just shave right there. Now we're shaving the front part and you're just basically going to do the same thing as you did in the back. Just sh gently shave and stop right where the bone start you don't want to shave above that you're creating a circle so it's it's going to be a circle around your dog's feet and now with your fingers you're going to try to open the webbing so you can shave between your dog's toes and it's a little bit difficult in the beginning but once you get used to it uh, you could do it faster so you're just going to open their fingers and or toes <laughs> and uh, just shave right there and you're going to scoop in and out gently do not press do not dig because you can cut and hurt your dog in case of cutting which can happen you just calmly stop shaving your dog clean your dog clean your blade and you can move to a longer blade with like a 15 or a 30 and continue to work if the cut is like deep just stop what you're doing and take care of your dog clean it and if you have to take it to the vet just take it to the vet You can also flip your your clipper and clean your dogs uh, like around the nail. Sometimes um, the hairs get sticking out there. You can with this technique you can clean that part without you know a hassle, <laughs> and it's faster and it's it's very easy to do. And there you go. You have a clean feet and now we can move to the other feet it's clean it's nice we didn't cut him yay mm -hmm. 